Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, you know, whenever it resonates. I don't feel like I need to put a date on this one because the timing, it feels like it could be a couple days or, yeah, that's what I feel. So it could be a few days. So I don't know, but this is a message that I'm going to pick up on or I am picking up on or something like that. I feel like it's going to be turbulence. There is going to be, it's going to be turbulent week, okay? I feel like there's going to be a lot of changes happening. There's going to be, it's going to be a bumpy road. I just saw a bumpy road, like dry heaves, you know? Is that what those are called? Dry heaves in the road? But anyway, I see a bumpy road where it's bumpy. There's cracks. There's all kinds of cracks in the road. And there's, it's going to keep you going up and down. It's just going to be like, uh. There's going to be some turbulence this week, or the week ahead, but anyway, but this is this is just an energy I'm picking up on. Um, it feels like it's dark, unfortunately. I just see, I see black. I see black, like dark, 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 like black. Um, like it's pitch black, something about it's black. Um, gray as well. So it's something that is gray. There may be a gray area as well. Um, I feel as though somebody is headed towards, it's like they're headed toward, towards a place where there's Well, what I see is the desert. So what do you have in the desert? I see the desert. It's like you're headed towards maybe being deserted. I don't know what the hell that means, but I just saw the desert. You, you're driving down this road and it keeps getting more desolate and more desolate and more desolate. And before you know it, you're in the freaking desert and there's, and you're all alone. Anyway, it's going to be a challenging time, so, um, but it's, now I just see way, 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 way out. It's like you can see something. You can see something way out, and you have to keep going. You have to get going. You've got to get through this rough patch. Interesting. We're going to start with a couple of these. So what do we got for a message for today? Table. Hard work ahead. What did I tell you? I told you. Okay, we do. We got some hard work ahead. That owl seems to be the one that messes it up. We definitely do have some hard work ahead. One more card, please. We got more than one, but we're going to take them. Yoke, feeling tied down or frustrated. So, good fortune. Good fortune. Good fortune is coming. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. We got rooster. So there's somebody that may be crossing the wrong person and they are being advised not to do so. How many people will listen? An arrogant person won't listen. So we got some sort of good fortune that is coming. But. There is hard work ahead because we got we got we got somebody here that is, you know, arrogant and boastful, and they should not be crossed. So I mean, this card speaks for itself. So we got some hard work ahead. What else do we got here? Well, we got the Three of Swords reversed and the Four of Wands reversed. 
So there's some heartache here. And it's time to heal. It's time to forgive. There sure could be a change in the family. There could be change in the home. Fours are about foundations. It's about home, family, family ties. Uh, something in the home is probably not happy. And there's a need for forgiveness and there's a need to heal. There's a need to let go of the past hurts and uh, probably go down that long, hard road that I was talking about. And you may feel like you are deserted or somebody has deserted you or something like that. But we do have a change in a foundation that, you know, there may be a painful separation and it's time to start the healing process. Okay? So... <clears throat> there could be a, an, an unexpected uh, celebration and it comes in a very unexpected way somebody is starting over they are starting from scratch they are leaving a bunch of stuff behind it's like they're not taking very much with them. With them, they're just and it's funny about that road. <clears throat> I mean, when you get to that desert, you sure as hell don't want to have a lot of stuff to carry, do you? So anyway, this is leaving some something behind and starting over from scratch. It's time to start the healing process. So somebody is starting over. We do have a new beginning here. Well, we could be dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but she is stable. She is solid. She has a golden opportunity in her hand. She is grounding, grounded. She is motherly. She probably has some people that are jealous of her because of her stability and her security. Um, it's like she's receiving something because it's like she has a gift in her hand. She's very poised. She's a hard worker. She's devoted. She has money. You know, she's stable. She's solid. She's secure. So interesting. Could have something to do with children. The Six of Cups. Could have something to do with children here. Somebody, um... May have... Uh, children in home. Somebody has been in a unharmonious home foundation. Okay, the home foundation wasn't harmonious. It wasn't happy. It wasn't happy. Somebody has been clinging for some reason. There could be some sort of upcoming reconciliation, perhaps. This is severing ties. Severing ties with somebody. Somebody's going to be severing ties with somebody. It's like there's nothing left to prove. The proof is here. The proof is out. Now it's time to be happy. So I wonder if something is going on. There's going to be some sort of conflict that comes about that may sever ties within a family foundation. And it has to, could have to do with children, okay? Because this is children. This is the family foundation. And this is severing ties time to heal from these past hurts it's a time of forgiveness it's time to leave the past behind it's time to start over it's time to start with a clean slate this is leaving something behind as well because when the fool starts the new journey he can't take everything with him it's like something has to you can't you can't you just start over fresh you can't bring that baggage so the bag something is being left behind there is going to be a loss there's going to be a loss here, but somebody's going to get it. It's like this: somebody is going to lose something, and this person is going to get it. Now she's got it in her hand. So somebody is going to lose something, and it has to do with they were holding on to it for a while trying to prove themselves because this is a card of ego and control this person whoever this person is that was holding on didn't care who they hurt this person could have been a narcissist they really did not care who they hurt 
It was all about power and control. But this is freedom. This, this fool is freedom. So this is freedom from another person's control. That is what that is. Somebody may have been holding on because of the children. This is the children. Trying to control the children or trying to control because of the children. Or trying to hold on to something that really isn't stable anyway because of the children. But this is starting fresh. Let, something is dropping away. It is slipping away. You cannot fight gravity. It's and it's like there's 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 things are going to be turned upside down this week. You see all these reversals. So there's going to be some sort of turbulence. There is going to be some turbulence. What's this Queen of Pentacles? What's this? Let's talk about her. <laughs> well. Well, 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 well. This Queen of Pentacles, she has strength. She has confidence. She has grace. She has tact. She has the skills. And she has a big heart. So she or he. I feel like we have somebody here that is... That has really, really, really good intentions. They have a very, very, very big heart. And they're receiving some sort of gift. Somebody is receiving a gift. And it's a gift of, of love, of stability, security. There's about to be a change here. Somebody is finding their strength. They're finding their courage and their confidence to be successful. Somebody may be letting go. The strength card is finding the strength to let go of something. So somebody may find the strength to act with integrity and let go of something. It's definitely an emotional time. It's an intense time. Somebody may open their heart. They may open their heart and find their inner strength to do something. To let go of something. This is let go. The Ace of Wands. Reverse. That is let go. Somebody's going to find their strength to let go of something. That is, they're not passionate about it. It's going south anyway. There's no fertility there. There's no growth. Somebody may do the noble thing. They may decide to do the right thing. This is your noble knight. Somebody is about to take action. They may, they may get some sort of heartfelt notion that they have to do something. This is taking action right now. They may open up. They may give. They may stop. They may stop holding on to whatever they were holding on to. That is the Four of Pentacles reverse. Somebody may be releasing, taking action to release. They may decide that they have to follow their heart. It's about love. It's all about love. So I feel as though somebody is about to open up. They're about, about to release the hold that they have on something. Or they may be released. Somebody may take it away from them. This is releasing the hold. Somebody is going to be letting go of their fear and they're going to start to open up. That's what's going to happen here. Somebody's going to find their find their 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 confidence, they're going to be brave. It looks like they're going to find their integrity to do the right thing. They're going to take action. They may get this 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 uh sudden This, they may suddenly, because it's suddenly, even though this was reversed, this is suddenly. They may suddenly open up.
They may realize that they have been weighed down by another, by a situation, a, a contract that isn't meant to be. This is the lovers reversed. Somebody has been indecisive. And like I said, they, I don't know if I said it, but I was thinking it, going back and forth, unsure of what they were going to do. There's a lot of conflict here, though, and I feel like we have somebody here that is letting go of a false contract that just isn't, they're letting go of it. Somebody is letting go of a false contract. They may suddenly decide. They may suddenly decide. There's your decision. And if they don't, and if it's not them, it could be a lawyer, it could be a judge, it could be an investigator, it could be somebody in protection, it could be another person that is very logical. This person could give them advice. This is a deci decision being made, a truthful, honest decision being made. Somebody is going to make a decision based on the facts. Very firm, very decisive, knows what he wants, knows what he has to do, and just does it. It's like, i got to do the right thing. So somebody may be deciding, they may just get some sort of epiphany. It feels like they get some sort of epiphany, i got to do the right thing, and i got to sever ties with this false contract. A decision is definitely going to be made. And there's going to be some sort of grieving. There's going to be some sort of sadness. But somebody has been focused on something that they that is hurting them when there's another opportunity waiting to be seen. You see, these this these three of cups, it's like there's this is a loss. And they've been focusing on the loss when there's a better opportunity for love right here. But it's like somebody has been refusing to see that better opportunity for love because of pride. Strength is also a card of pride and ego. It is. And there's a lot of pride and ego here. Somebody has let pride and ego get in the way of their fresh start, get in the, get in the way of their own abundance, get in the way of their own success. All in the name of power and control. But there is going to be a loss here. Somebody is losing something they were hanging on to and they may be deciding to give it up. We have somebody here that it has been grieving heavily, not realizing that there's another opportunity. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth and karma is real. And if you don't think it is, you better start investigating. Or you're about to find out. <laughs> you're about to find out because karma is absolutely real. Anyway, so somebody made a bad judgment call. Somebody wasn't uh, being honest. They weren't telling the truth. They were refusing to see the truth. They were not awakened. <coughs> Excuse me. But somebody knows the truth. This person sees the truth very, very clearly. This King of Swords. This person is very intelligent and has been trained, has been trained to see the truth. So somebody may decide that they are going to lie. That is not a wise decision, especially to this person. Especially when there's proof. There's proof. This tells me there's proof. So anyway, I feel as though... Some sort of truth has been hidden. Somebody has been uh, grieving and they may even have some sort of regrets now. Maybe they're scared. They may be scared of the karma that they are going to receive because of their actions. This is actions. They may be scared and they, you should be. You really should be. Because now there's going to be a big, huge loss. Somebody may be going their own way and taking nothing with them. Karma... Karma acts in mysterious ways. There's going to be something that is taken away. Definitely with the Four of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Pentacles. Something, there is something that is being released.
It's the end of a contract. A decision is being made. Somebody wasn't telling the truth. But this person's going to see the truth. This person is going to see the truth. This person knows the truth. This is a big, huge loss for somebody. And I think it's, it's bigger than you think. I do. It's time to heal. It's time to release. It's time to start over. Somebody is going to be starting over and leaving behind a very manipulative, controlling situation. Unfortunately, this does have to do, I think for some of you, it has to do with children with the Six of Cups. This is clinging to control because of the memories or because of the children. If it does, if it's not children related, related, it could be memories with a lover. It's like it's not a soulmate. It's not the Six of Cups reverse and the lovers reverse. This is not a soulmate connection. Just let it go. But we could have somebody here that is unaware and they think it is. You know, they're just totally not awakened. They don't get it. Anyway, this Queen of Pentacles is going to get this golden opportunity that is being lost. It's like this person has acted with integrity. And this is some sort of gift. So anyway, I guess I don't need to go any further. I just, I feel like there's about to be a loss, obviously. Somebody's going to be going their own way. They could be leaving everything behind. It's like starting over with nothing. That's what this is. So, that's what I got. Good luck.